In this video, I'll teach you how to use Font Awesome in your Webflow projects. So firstly, what is Font Awesome? Well, Font Awesome is a font, just like any other font in Google, for example, Poppins or Laura, except the fonts can actually pull in icons. So instead of actual traditional characters like A, B, C, D, E, Font Awesome actually has specific characters for icons. And just keep in mind, Font Awesome is something that I personally use, but there's many, many other libraries out there on the internet, but it follows the exact same premise. The premise being we'll have to add the font as a custom font, then we go ahead and use the library to use a specific icon. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is an example website. In this website, blazetransit.com, as I scroll down the site to the very bottom on the footer, you can see we have these social media icons and what's actually crazy is if i hit inspect and i go ahead and click onto this inspect tool and i highlight over let's just say the youtube icon in this specific example website they actually use font awesome as the icon for the social media link so again in web design web development at the end of the day in the front end version what we see as site visitors it doesn't really matter what you use you can use a font, you can use an image, you can use an SVG file, whatever. Um, in this case, it was a font and there, there are clear advantages and disadvantages of using a font. The main advantage is a font is usually very, very small in file size compared to an image. And secondly, it's a lot easier to style the hover states in my opinion. So let's go ahead and jump into Webflow. But before we do that, let's go into Font Awesome and let's download the actual font. So head over to fontawesome.com and where it says start for free, go ahead and click that button. From here, you can just scroll down and you can go to downloads right here. And once you hit download, it'll tell you whether you want it for the web or the desktop. Usually I just get the free for web right here. So you can go ahead and click the download. Then you'll download a zip file. So just go ahead and unzip that and you'll be left with a folder. And inside the folder where it says web fonts, you can see we have a couple of fonts. We have the brand, we have regular, and we have solid. So usually I just use these three right here, and that's what we're gonna upload into Webflow. So jumping into Webflow, we can go ahead and add the font through project settings, site settings, and then font. Or if you're in the design view already, you can actually click onto a text, for example, scroll down to font, and then where it says at the very top, add font, this will automatically go into project settings, into the font settings. As you can see, we're already in the font tab. Now I just want to click upload and we want to go ahead and find that folder that we just downloaded, font awesome, right here, web fonts. And you just want to go ahead and upload either the TFF or the WOFF file. So I'm just going to go ahead and upload the TFF for the brands, TFF for the regular and TFF for the solid or TTF. Sorry about that. And once that's done, you can go ahead and click upload, upload, and upload. So now we've uploaded three font awesome. One is for solid, one is for outline, and one is for brands, like social media icons. So in this specific example, they have three different font styles. And once that's done, we can go ahead and go back to designer. And we can go ahead and use this new font that we've created. So I'm back on my page. And now what I want to do in this example website is I want to go ahead and just create social media icons instead of the get started button. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this get started. And this whole layout, I just put it in for layouts, starter library. I just added a navigation hero section and a footer just for example purposes. So right now I'm going to go ahead and add a div block underneath this paragraph text. I'm going to go ahead and give it a class of social media wrapper. I'll give it a width of 100%. And from here, I want to go ahead and add a link block, which is which will be the button. Go ahead and give it a class of social media link. Then I'm going to go ahead and add a text inside this link block. And right now, if I go into the parent element, which is social media link, and I'll go ahead and expand it, there's a text block. So we can go ahead and style the text block, but what this will actually do is this will create a new class and that's not really efficient. So what we can do, we can just style the parent element itself, social media link, go ahead and scroll down and where it says typography, we can go ahead and select that new font that we have. 
Again, there's three different fonts. For this specific example, we're gonna hit FA Brands 400. And you can see this is just like any other regular font, right? You can see this is the font of that font awesome. I can type in this is font awesome. And the real reason is we're not really using this font for characters, like I mentioned or alluded to earlier. We're really using it for a specific icon. So let's go ahead and go back into font awesome, the main website. Go ahead and click this magnify icon so we can search for a specific font. Usually I take free because I don't pay for font awesome. And right here, you can see we have a bunch of fonts that you can select. And let's just say, for example, we want this Facebook one right here. We can actually click into it and this will open up a pop-up. And what we want to do from here is right here on the top right where it says um, copy glyph. You can go ahead and click that. Now it's copied. Go back into Webflow, double click the text and paste that in. And now you should see that this font awesome just keep in mind this is for awesome brands is now showing the facebook icon so right now we can actually go back in and change the pixel from 14 to let's say 24 maybe a bit bigger 48 pixels uh, as exaggeration and then height we can go ahead and set to one unitless height and you can see right now it's pulling the facebook icon so the main powerful factor of this and why i love for font awesome so much is right now we can actually just style everything so we can go ahead and get rid of the text decoration we can go ahead and add this to a specific color. Let's just say maybe our brand is like a green color. And then from here, we can go into the hover state and we can go ahead and change the green color to like a red color. And normally you won't be able to do this if this was an image, you would have to create additional steps like uploading two images. And then what happens if the client says, oh, I don't want a green icon, I want it to be blue. Then you have to go ahead and go into your design software and change the icon to blue and then re-upload it. This way, it's just very, very clean and streamlined. You can see right now we have that font in the actual Webflow site. So now what I can also do is I can go back into social media link, copy and paste this a couple of times, go into the social media wrapper, which is the main div that everything's wrapped in, apply flex, put it to the center, and then the columns in the gap, maybe I'll put 12 pixels, maybe a bit more, 24 pixels, and then we can go back into Font Awesome and we can go ahead and just add different ones. So let's just say, for example, we want to add Twitter. Oh, I think now it's called X. So we can go ahead and just add the old Twitter logo for old time sakes. Go back into Webflow and then just replace it just like that. Um, let's go ahead and add Instagram because that's a very popular social media platform. Copy, go back and replace. And same thing, because we put this into a link block, we can select the link block go into settings and go ahead and paste in our URL. We can even create open new tab. So that's how you do font awesome in a nutshell. Let me just quickly go over the other font styles. So you may notice that all these that we just added are social media icons, but what happens if, for example, we want to add this house right here. So if we actually click onto this house, click copy glyph, and let's just replace the Twitter with that. You'll notice that it doesn't actually work. And that's because font awesome again has three different fonts. So right now we're using the brands, but what we can do here is we can add a combo class of solid and that way it won't affect the other two. Now we can go back into the font and we can go ahead and select FA solid. So now you can see that the house actually works. So I hope you guys found this video useful. Let me know what you think of font awesome. I think it's awesome as the name implies. And just keep in mind that there are many other libraries out there, but they just follow the same premise where you install the font you upload it to Webflow and then you use their library and it pulls in that specific icon. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want more Webflow videos and design videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. I'll be releasing new videos every week and I'll see you guys there.